Coach Gene Stallings, sir, I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a great week. Welcome into the game in Tuscaloosa. Coaches, I look back at the third Saturday of October, which uh, this year it's falling back on the third Saturday of October. Is there an Alabama-Tennessee game that stands out to you, whether a head coach or an assistant coach, uh, one of those games that stands up above the rest? Sure it is. Uh, when I was coaching there at, at Alabama, we started off losing the first four games. I don't suggest that to anybody's coaching at, uh, at the Alabama people proud on losing four in a row, but <laughs> we lost four in a row, yet we were playing good. We just couldn't win. Then we beat Vanderbilt. Uh, Tennessee was ranked number one and number two in the country. I can't remember which. And uh, we took a team to Knoxville. It was a great football game. Score was six to six. They were going to kick a field goal, and Stacey Harrison blocked it and we went back in our direction about 20 or 25 yards. Philip Gall then stepped up, kicked the field goal, and we won the game nine to six. So, uh, in my opinion, that that particular game sort of kick started. Uh, my career at Alabama, it helped us uh, recruiting, and it, and it certainly helped me. And uh, so that, that's the uh, Tennessee-Alabama game that stands out to me. That was 1990, Coach. We did a uh, Today we did phone calls where people called in, and they talked about their favorite memory. And, and that 1990 game kept coming up over and over and over from the fans. And uh, that's one of your memories, but according to Alabama fans, it's one of their favorite memories, too. That that game came up a ton today with our phone calls. Well, and, and the fact that uh, Tennessee was number one and number two in the country, I forget which, and the fact that we had lost four in a row, I think that they were maybe 20, 25-point favorite playing there in Knoxville, and uh, we won the football game. So that was a, that was a big win for Alabama.